Hey, what's up everybody? Abasha from Golden Motor. Today I'm going to show you how to plug up this plug and play liquid cooling system with the Golden Motor BLDC motor and the Easy Control motor controller. Okay, so let me unbox everything. These are, this is the controller right here. And these are the wiring harnesses that come with the controller. Let's unpack the motor now. This is the instructions that comes with the motor. And this is a 48 volt liquid cooled motor. So it comes with, it already comes with two pipes, this one. Two hose pipes, one and two. These are the phase wires. And these are some extra plugs that come with the motor right here. So I'm gonna keep these out of the way. And finally, let's unbox the liquid cooling kit. So this one also comes with two pipes, brackets, the sump pump, the DC converter, the container for the coolant, and all the necessary pipes and everything. All righty, let's get all this assembled. Okay, I'm gonna hook up the controller now to the motor. Uh, I'm gonna do it pretty quickly in this video. I've done a detailed video on how to do the connection and the programming already. I'll put that in the description below. I've already done a, a how to hook up a joystick throttle to the controller. I'm using a joystick throttle because a lot of people use this water cool setup for inboard motors and sailboat motors, but this can be used for pretty much any application. I have my handy dandy testing 48 volt battery. And now, Let's get this party started. Okay, now I'm gonna show you the radiator setup, or as my Canadian people will say, radiator. Eh. All right, so this is the cooling fan. This is the reservoir. This is the pump. And this is the DC-DC converter because this thing works off 12 volts and we're using a 48 volt battery. So my first step is to put this bolt that came with the kit. And by the way, this thing is plug and play with this controller and the motor. So that's a good thing. Um, put the reservoir on top of the pump. And you want to make sure everything is tight because you don't want water to be leaking anywhere. So this is an 18 mil wrench. And the one, the side that has the two holes on it, that's going to stay on top. Okay, so once that is done, let's connect the DC-DC converter to the controller. So this wire comes with the kit right here. Basically, you plug it in into the DC converter. Make sure you hear that click. And then there's two uh, negative terminal and a positive terminal coming out of it. Negative terminal is going to go in with the negative side on the controller. I'm going to put that on. positive side it comes spliced already uh, this is where you got to do some cutting so there is a key switch right here this red wire right here I already have it cut but it doesn't come cut like this so I already made that cut so I you basically got to expose some of the copper right there and then just connect it to the positive side right there so the circuit is complete basically
And there you go. Um, if I turn the controller on right now, this system is set up, the fan should go. So let's try it out. Okay, let me turn it on and show you. So yeah, the fan is working, controller is working. So now let's just set up the, let's fill this up with the coolant. Right now I'm gonna do with the water just to show you in the demonstration. I think I'll put some uh, water color in there so you can see the circulation. But now let's hook up all the piping now. All right guys, so the setup is done. I put this uh, reservoir right here. I just taped it up because it's for demonstration, but this uh, kit comes with like clamps and it comes with like uh, these brackets and bolts. So it, it comes with all the necessary hardware to keep this upright. But since this is a demonstration, I just taped it up. And I have uh, water over here. I just put food color in here so you can see it on camera. So basically, you can just start, if I had a funnel, that would be a little bit easier, but you got to fill this up. Uh, there's reservoir. Um, I think it takes about three or four times because what I'll do is I'll fill it up. So it reaches up to there and then I'll turn it on. It starts circulating and then I turn it back off, put it back, more, put more in there. So you have to fill this up three or four times. So the circulation, it has enough water in there for circulation. So I have this much water in here now. I put a little bit more food color in there so you can see it better on camera. But basically this is a plug and play system. So now when I turn the battery on, the water should start circulating. But then again, I have to do it three or four more times to put in there so it's like enough water in the whole piping system. So let me show you how it works. Yeah, so it sucked all the water in, but it's getting stopped over here because not enough water in circulation. So yeah, I'm gonna repeat this process like to fill this up uh, three or four more times. And then when I'm done with that process, I'm gonna show you how this thing, how this beauty looks. All right guys, so I have the water fully in. It's all throughout the pipes. Last step you wanna do is put this bolt in to seal the reservoir. Once that is done, then we turn the battery on. Your controller should turn on, your throttle should turn on. So one plug and play system and then the radiator should turn on. So it should be, there we go. 
the water circulating goes through here, it goes through the cooling fans, then it goes through the motor, through the motor it goes through the controller, so it keeps your motor and controller cooled. So yeah, that's it guys. If you have any other questions, I'll put all the necessary parts and the diagrams for this in the description below. But that is it guys. 